Good morning, this is your 707. One more time. We are still talking about the tree and the seed. Okay. And someone has been, you know, some guys are probably sitting there and thinking, okay, so how do you know that someone is going to change? Because we are saying that people are constantly evolving. People change. You meet somebody after five years, they're not the same. So someone is asking, okay, how do you know that someone is going to change? Or maybe that's just them. Maybe they're just bad people. <laughs> maybe they're just, you know, poor at taking care of their money or poor in their relationships. Here's about two things that you need to understand. When someone is behaving in a certain way and you're asking yourself if they're ever going to change, you check two things. The first thing that you want to check is what is their attitude towards their bad behavior? Now, people who are intrinsically evil enjoy what they do. So when you, when you meet that person in their private space or with their boys or with their girls and you're asking them, why did you do this? That guy will be like, ah, come on. That's what we do. I enjoyed it. I'll do it again. When you find somebody that's not feeling any remorse, they actually are happy about the wicked or the crazy thing that they did. That's someone who's not likely to change anytime soon. Move away from that person. Take whatever action that you need to take. Understand that this is who they are. But when somebody is stuck and they're acting in a manner and they're likely to change, their behavior is usually remorse. You're going to find such people have got cycles of depression. So, for example, if someone loves, is drinking too much alcohol, so they are an alcoholic, you're married, you're married to a chick, this chick can't stop drinking. If this girl comes home and the next day when they're sober, they're like, I hate my life. I hate what I'm doing. I wish I could do something different about this. Then you know that this is someone who's likely to change. Why? Because they hate the evil thing that they're doing. They hate that addiction. Okay? So look out for that. What is the person's reaction towards what they did? Do they love it or do they hate it? The second thing is check the environment. People that are likely to change, change with their environment. When you take that person that is probably uh, rude, angry, looking angry all the time, and every time they've got a bad attitude, if you put them in a different environment, do they change? Remember the seed? If we put the seed on the table, it's not going to grow for five months. If you put it in the ground for five days, it's going to start changing. If the environment does not affect this person's behavior, chances are that is who they are. Move them to a different country. Move them to a different school. Move them to a different job. Is, there an, is their attitude and behavior changing? If it's not, I'm sorry. That's exactly who they are. Deal with it. And deal with it quickly before you get hurt. Okay? So these are two things that you need to do to understand whether or not you're dealing with someone who's likely to change or someone who's not likely to change and you just need to cut your losses okay don't get hurt in 2023 because you're holding on to someone that you're hoping is going to change but they really have hit rock bottom that's who they are again don't burn your bridges in 2023 because you cut loose somebody who's going through a rough patch they just needed some time you need to be able to distinguish between the two okay this is your Daily 707. My name is Victor Machoka. See you next time.